Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. Today we are going to talk about uh, vascular pathology ka ek naya angle which affects veins and lymphatics. Varicose vein ka topic mujhe discuss karna hai um, in particular and a few other topics. So varicose veins uh, and phlebothrombosis ya thrombophlebitis jisko commonly kaha jata hai. They account for 90% of all the cases which are clinically relevant to the venous disease. So, two things, if you understand, their pathogenesis, that is, varicose veins, how they develop, and the thrombophlebitis phenomena, then you cover about 90% of clinically important venous diseases. So, let's start our discussion by uh, varicose vein of the extremities. So, they are basically abnormally dilated, tortuous veins produced by chronically increased intraluminal pressure and weakened vessel wall support. So, extremity may suppose you have a hai and uh, in the shin region mein and um, you know in the leg region you see tortuous dilated veins on the surface. So, such sort of thing is what we call varicose veins. And usually the dilatation and the tortuosity hai, this is because the vessel wall is weak ho gayi hai. because of this phenomena uh, weak vessel wall ki se, it becomes dilated. And dilated vessels are not good because this may blood stasis hogi or blood flow hoga that will lead to formation of thrombus. This is a possibility that platelets clog or pura clotting system activate. Ho jai. The superficial veins of the upper and the lower leg typically are involved. So leg region and uh, upper limb be involved. Hota hai, but typically um, most commonly upper and lower leg region so lower extremity is more commonly involved than any other part of the body however uh, dilated veins are present elsewhere also in the body okay up to one-fifth of men and one-third of women develop lower extremity varicose veins sometime in their lifetime obesity increases the risk and higher incidence in women probably reflects the prolonged elevation in the venous pressure caused by compression of the inferior vena cava particularly because of pregnancy so pregnancy may inferior vena cava is compressed or usse ye hota hai ki lower extremity mein there is increase in pressure aur us pressure ki wajah se there is dilatation of blood vessels clinically varicose dilatation renders the venous valves incompetent and leads lower extremity stasis to simply ye hoga ki ye lower extremity hai isme jo vein hai aapko pata hai yahan se jo blood upar ja raha hai there are valves present in there aur agar ye valves um, you know kisi bhi wajah se upar venous blockage hai such as because of weight of the heavy gravid uterus so there will be backflow of the blood stasis of the blood aur ye valves incompetent ho jate hain jiski wajah se further stasis hoti hai and the veins become dilated okay and it say even skin manifestations be also the most disabling sequelae include the peris persistent edema in the extremity and us edema ki wajah se there is dermatitis and ulceration and these are called varicose ulcers on the lower extremity so these are all clinical findings which you see in the patients who have dilated ya varicose veins dusri jagah pe maine aapse kaha na ki it's not only the lower extremity jahan pe varices hoti hain these varicosities are also seen for example in esophagus and they are called esophageal varices so agar liver cirrhosis hai kisi ko so there is back pressure in the esophageal veins pura portal circulation agar aapne padha hai to aapko ye baat samajh mein aayegi ki liver mein agar kisi bhi wajah se blockage hai such as because of cirrhosis so there will be a back pressure in the esophageal veins and this is what we call esophageal varices and they can even rupture and the person can present to the clinic with hematemesis usko ulti mein blood aayega similar thing can also happen wherever there is porto systemic anastomosis of veins so esophagus to ek ek station hai can also happen in uh, rectum for example the person will present uh, with hemorrhoids can also happen around the umbilical area so peri umbilical veins uh, will form caput medusa so all these things can happen wherever there is protosystemic anastomosis blockage hogi dilatation hogi and there is a disease manifestation so must remember okay um, hemorrhoids ki mein baat kar chuka. Now, because of stasis, one very common problem is thrombophlebitis and there are other reasons for thrombophlebitis. It's not only stasis, but uh, you need to understand ki phenomena hai kya. Thrombosis of deep leg veins account for more than 90% of the cases of thrombophlebitis and phlebothrombosis. These two terms are largely interchangeable. Yani, um, prime fascia mein dekhne pe lagta hai ki thrombophlebitis ka hai ya phlebothrombosis ka hai ek hi baat hai. Other sites where venous thrombi may form are periprostatic venous plexus and in the pelvic uh, plexus in females, uh, particularly because of again obstruction and stasis uh, due to gravity. Peritoneal infection including peritonitis 
appendicitis, cell pingitis and pelvic abscesses. ये सारी predisposing factors हैं towards thrombophlebitis. Thrombophlebitis का मतलब I hope आप सबकी समझ में आ गया है. It's formation of thrombus within veins. In deep vein thrombosis, which is also abbreviated as DVT, um, usually happens in legs obviously, prolonged immobilization leads to venous stasis and it's a very important risk factor for development of thrombosis. So say for example, if you are moving in an airplane or the airplane ki lambi flight is here for example from Mumbai to Australia or in any city in the US, it's a long long flight. Or aap bilkul move nahi kar rahe, you are sitting down there for 18-20 hours. So what will happen ki aapke lower extremity mein blood pool ho jayega. Us pooling ki wajay se there are chances of developing thrombus in the deep veins of your leg. So DVD is very common in long flights. This can occur with extended bed rest as well. The post-operative state, kisi bhi wajah se na bed rest ho sakta hai. Surgery ki wajah se terminally ill patient hai X Y Z. And uh, there are increased chances in certain conditions such as use of oral contraceptive, malignancy, agar hai koi bhi obesity. Male gender is a predisposing factor as well. Congestive heart failure. Ye tamam wo conditions hai jisme somehow ya to blood profile hemodynamically change hogi ya there is a stasis of the blood. Thrombi in the legs tend to produce few, if any, reliable signs or symptoms, but when present, local manifestation can include edema, cyanosis, um, even tenderness over the blocked area, or if it's a long term block, hai, toh, even skin changes such as ulceration. In some cases, pain is elicited by pressure over the affected veins, uh, squeezing of the calf muscles, forced dorsiflexion, and this, is, uh, this has a specific name which is called Homan sign. Okay? So deep vein thrombosis, stasis major masla hai. Yaha, whatever we are discussing, uska major jo main stay hai disease ka, that is called stasis. Pulmonary embolism is a common and serious complication of DVT. Now what can happen, ki aapki lower uh, extremity mein, deep vein mein koi thrombus hai, it can dislodge and you know all the venous blood flow ultimately goes to the, you know, lung, uh, heart mein se bhi guzar ke ye lung tak pahunche ga. And once it's in the lung, it is uh, now able to block the main pulmonary tree. And this is where you will call it pulmonary embolism and this can be life threatening. Okay, तो सोचें lower extremity से lower extremity से एक thrombus dislodge हो के veins के जरिए it goes to the right atrium, right ventricle and then to the lungs and lungs में जाके this is now known as pulmonary embolism. It can block the pulmonary tree. Okay, so अब तक बात समझ में आ गई. We are talking about problems associated with veins. जिस में we talked about varicose veins and then thrombophlebitis. Stasis is a major problem. किसी भी वजह से blood का रुकना veins में now let's talk about superior and inferior vena cava syndromes. They are very important. Then we'll talk a condition about uh, lymphatic vessel. So superior vena cava syndrome usually is caused by neoplasm that compress or invade the superior vena cava, such as bronchogenic carcinoma, ya koi lymphoma hai in the mediastinum. The resulting obstruction produces a characteristic clinical complex consisting of marked dilatation of the veins of the head and neck, obviously, because, I mean, just imagine this, na, ke if this is your heart and the superior vena cava is coming, draining the blood from head and neck region, if this is blocked because of any region, upar yaha pe there will be blood stasis. Head or neck region mein there will be more blood because aage rasta hi nahi hai. Now, Pulmonary vessels can also be decompressed using respiratory distress. So uh, this is not a relevant line right there at the moment. Ye to superior vena cava ki obstruction hai. If inferior vena cava uh, has a problem, yani uski compression hoti hai ya invasion by the tumor hai, many tumors can invade inferior vena cava, for example, hepatic, uh, renal, lower extremity. Certain neoplasms, particularly hepatocellular carcinoma and renal cell carcinoma, show a striking tendency to grow within veins. And these tumors may ultimately occlude the inferior vena cava. So you need to know the list of tumors which can affect inferior vena cava. Obstruction of the inferior vena cava induces marked lower extremity edema. It should make sense that if the superior vena cava is obstructed, there will be engorgement of the blood vessels in the upper extremity, head and neck region. If inferior vena cava is blocked, there will be engorgement of blood in the lower extremity. Obstruction of inferior vena cava induces marked lower extremity edema. Hogibad, distension of the superficial collateral veins as well as renal vein involvement 
लीडिंग टू प्रोटीन यूरिया जाहिर है ये अगर ब्लॉक होता है इनफेरवेना केवा तो नीचे से आने वाला ब्लड हार्ट में एम्प्टी आउट नहीं होगा एंड लोअर एक्सट्रीमिटी में देयर विल बी पूलिंग ऑफ द ब्लड तो यू शुड नो दीज कंडीशंस ओके कि इफ सुपीरियरवेना केवा इज ब्लॉक्ड और इफ इनफेरवेना केवा इज ब्लॉक्ड व्हाट विल बी द मैनिफेस्टेशंस then the lymph vessels if there is inflammation of the lymph vessel this is called lymphangitis if there is edema because of lymphatic involvement this is lymphedema so primary disorders of lymphatic vessels are extremely uncommon they are usually involved in some other problems okay lymphangitis refer to acute inflammation and this can be because of bacterial seeding from nearby infection clinically inflamed lymphatics appear as red painful subcutaneous streaks and they are usually very painful particularly if this is acute lymphadenitis so lymph nodes are enlarged primary lymphedema may occur as an isolated congenital defect or as a familial myelary disease which is also called herido familial congenital lymphedema resulting from agenesis or hyperplasia of the lymphatic so if lymphatics are not properly formed uh, outflow will be obstructed and there will be backflow of lymph leading to lymphedema okay now secondary or obstructive lymphedema stems from the accumulation of interstitial fluid behind the obstructed area if any blockage is there in the lymphatic flow there will be backflow and this is a very common thing obstruction can be because of so many things such as because of tumor surgical procedure breast cancer mein jab chhedchhad uh, karte hain lymphatics ke sath it's a very common complication of breast cancer that lymphedema develops in the arm and axillary region um, fibrosis because of radiation फ्लेरियासिस फ्लेरियल वॉम इन्फेक्शन कैन ब्लॉक द लिम्फेरिक्स एंड ऑल्सो एनी इन्फ्लोमेटरी इवेंट विच लीड्स टू थ्रोम्बोसिस और स्कैरिंग और मेकिंग अप फाइबर टिश्यू सो लिम्फेरिक्स कैन बी ब्लॉक्ड रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द कॉज लिम्फेरिमा इंक्रीज द हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर इन द लिम्फेरिक डिस्टल टू द ऑब्सट्रक्शन एंड इट लीड्स टू एडिमा फॉर्मेशन chronic edema in turn may lead to deposition of the extracellular matrix and fibrosis producing pudgy orange appearance and this is exactly what happens in breast cancer patients you know the skin is like dotted 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 jaise orange ki skin hoti hai okay eventually in and this is because of the fibrous tissue which is underlying the skin and this fibrosis is because of inflammation and the inflammation is because of the edema and edema is because of the obstruction of the lymphatic vessel so ye pura sequence of events hai jisse skin par ye puri orange finding aapko nazar aati hai eventually inadequate tissue perfusion may lead to skin ulceration But whenever there is edema there is blockage of uh, you know superficial vessels it can lead to uh um, necrosis and ulceration of the skin tissue okay right so these were the um conditions which you had to remember affecting veins and lymphatics take care of yourself